Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this simply supported beam. We can see here there is a hinge support which is represented by A and there is a rotor support which is represented by B. And there is a uniformly distributed load of 3 kN per meter distributed over a length of 3 meter. So we have to analyze this beam by finding out its, its support reaction. Here the length is 2 meter without any load and also here is 2 meter length without any load. So how to find the support reaction? So by using the equilibrium equation, let's suppose summation of moment at any point equal to 0. And let we assume that summation of moment at point A equal to 0. And also we assume that the clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative. So we can see here this is a hinge support so it can take the vertical load so it will be RA and rotor support it can also take the vertical load so it will be RB. The hinge support can also take the horizontal load here this one but as there is no horizontal load acting on this beam that's why the horizontal component of the hinge support is equal to zero. So we have to find out the RA and RB. These two are unknown to us. So summation of moment at point A equal to zero. So we start from this right side. So RB is the force that creates a moment about point A. As this force is acting in upward direction. So like in this way. So it is acting like in this way about point B. About point A in anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. So anticlockwise is negative. So it will be minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm so force is rb now moment arm is the distance the perpendicular distance from b point to a point so it is 2 plus 3 plus 2 total is 7 meter this is the moment arm and then the another force that creates the moment about point a is 3 kN per meter so it is a uniformly distributed load and this is acting in downward direction so it will create moment about point A in the clockwise direction so it will be taken as positive. So plus it is uniformly distributed load so it will be 3 into the load the distance on which it is distributed so 3 meter so 3 into 3 this is now the force if multiplying it with the moment arm so the moment arm is this load x at the centroid of this uniformly distributed load here at this point so it will be so this load x at the centroid of this 3 meter so it means here from this point to this point it is 1.5 it is 3 divided by 2 so it is 1.5 meter so the total moment arm is the distance from this point to the a point so 2 meter plus this 1.5 so the total is 3.5 so 3.5 is the moment arm for this load equal to 0 because there is no other force to create the moment about point A. So now we shift this value into the right side in order to get the positive value. So 7RB will be equal to the, if we shift this into the right side, so it becomes positive and we got here by multiplying these values, we got here 31.5. Now dividing RB here. RB is equal to 31.5 divided by 7. So we got here 4.5 kilonewton. So RB support reaction here is 4.5 kilonewton. Now the only unknown is RA. So we can use another equation here. In the equilibrium equation, summation of vertical force is equal to 0. And let's suppose that the upward force is acting is positive and the downward force is negative. So now the upward forces are RA and RB are upward forces. So it will be positive. Where this force is acting negative, 3 kN per meter is a uniformly distributed load. So it will be negative because it is acting downward. So it will be minus 3 is the load multiplying it with the uniformly distributed distance which is 3 meter here equal to 0. There is no other load acting on the beam. So RA comes out to be, if we shift this value into the right side, so it will be 9 minus RB. Now RB is known to us, which is 4.5, this one, 
4.5 kilonewton so ra is equal to the 9 minus 4.5 so ra comes out to be 4.5 kilonewton so this is the support reaction here at this point which is 4.5 kilonewton so we find out the two support reaction ra 4.5 and rb equal to 4.5 both reactions are the same value because the uniformly distributed load acts at the center of the beam so that's why the load is in samely distributed into two supports ra and rb that's why they have the same support reaction of 4.5 kN and 4.5 kN so hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video